How are you, Sprout? Well, I hope. Everyone has their troubles, my lady. Oh, dear. Sprat has been helping to train my new maid, Denka. I'd say she takes after the dash hunt, my lady. In what way? She's quite untrainable. Sprat. Will there be anything else, your ladyship? <sighs> Sounds like trouble to me. Are you certain Denka's worth it? Oh, you must put dinner on Friday into your diary. That's when Dickie Merton's coming with his sons. Yes, I wonder if it is a good idea. <laughs> Isabel's got to meet them sometime. And Larry won't make trouble for Tom again, not with Sybil dead. Let us hope not. Granny, I know why you're finding this difficult. Do you? Yes, but you mustn't give in to it. Let's give in to what? Isabel's always been your protégé. She looks up to you, and you have kept her from harm in return. Have I? Yes, so of course it's difficult that she is to take her place among the leaders of the county. Oh, why? Why is it difficult? You needn't pretend. Your positions have changed. You, the widow in the Dow House, Isabel, a great lady presiding over a great house. But you simply have to be bigger than that. Is that what you think of me? That I care about her change of rank? Well, you're not exactly pleased, are you? No. But that is not the reason. Then what is? Well, if you must know, I've got used to having a companion. A friend. You know, someone to talk things over with. Well, you'll still have us. You have your own lives, and so you should. But Isabel and I had a lot in common, and I shall miss that. Granny, you're quite dewy-eyed. I never think of you as sentimental. Nor am I. You've made me regret my confidence. Do have some cake. And for your information, I don't think Isabel has ever looked up to me. 